Hi guys, it's your girl Black Butterfly back with another video of Baby Joe. Okay, so I have been trying to get to this particular video probably all week, but I wanted to take my time with it. Um, and plus I had to wait for some stuff to come in from Amazon. So this video, I'm gonna be showing you my new comfy bed that I made for Baby Joe. So let me just show you the box that um, it came in. I have a couple of things to show you. So this is the box right here that the memory foam um, came in right here. This is it right here. And it's a Lucid Gel Memory Foam Mattress Topper, four inch. Okay, y'all can see that? All right, it's, I got it in a size twin, the smallest that they had um, for the bed, the cot. So what I did was I removed the other little padding that came with the cot because it wasn't comfortable. I did have a chance to sleep on it. And I just created my own. I was like, you know what? I need something to feel like my bed in the house and I have memory, memory foam on it. I bought this a long time ago, this white padding. I'm gonna give you guys a closer view. I'm just gonna talk through it for a minute. And um, this was okay, but it didn't make it, I thought it would kind of give it a little more plush and comfort, but it didn't. So I was like, we're gonna have to change some things. So that's the box that came in. Also what came in were the sheets. I bought some twin sheets. This is kind of off. This is not actually the color that I actually wanted, but we're gonna work with it, okay? So we're gonna make up Baby Joe, and this is the comforter, which I haven't like taken it apart yet, but we're gonna use this comforter with these sheets. Um, this is like a gray and teal and I thought I matched it well, but I didn't so we might be changing that up later But we're gonna use it today. All right. So anyway um, Let me just show you how I have the memory foam and the pad together to make the mattress. I'll be right back. Okay Okay, so here we have um, This is the cot All right, and like I said, I took off the original padding because it was just too thin not comfortable it was terrible so what I did was I bought this memory foam four inch and it's a twin size but I measured it with the other pad that was on the cot and I cut it with a knife I cut you know the extra stuff off with a knife and um, I am going to use the extras. That's what I have in the Lucid box. I kept the extras because I'm going to make some pillows out of those, um, covering those with satin, okay? And that's going to be another video. So anyway, this is the memory foam. It's so soft, y'all. It's like so, so soft, so comfortable. And I took this padding, this mattress topper, and this is also like a twin mattress topper, and I put on top, and it has these little flaps, and I just do like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make the bed up with the sheets and the comforter and I'm gonna come back and just show you what that looks like. Um, so we're, we're basically doing a makeover of Baby Joe and um, so we're doing it in steps but I was waiting for this stuff to come in from Amazon to do this and it came in so, um, and today is hot but it's bearable so I said I'm gonna go ahead and do this video today. So I'm gonna be right back after Baby Joe is made up um, with the comforter and the sheets and y'all can tell me what y'all think about it too okay y'all so this is what I came up with this is um, the bed fully made with the sheet I didn't put the um, the top sheet on I just put the fitted sheet and let's see I'm gonna show you that's the sheet I have it tucked underneath the foam and see how this has a gray side. I really like this comforter. It's an all weather comforter. And um, it's for every season. So that's why I got this. I feel like I want to change out those pillows. But that's the ones that I have from the last comforter set. But um, there's the pillow in the back. That's supposed to match the sheets. But I think this is pretty cozy. It's super, super comfortable. And um, I am going to get like some really fluffy carpet or some throw rugs to go right here and more on the top. It just looks so cozy to me. And I don't really want to add anything extra. See how this covers the um, underneath the bed? 
all my stuff is going to be under here and all I have to do is raise this up to get to it simple so it'll just have this this minimalistic look no clutter and very comfy this is this uh, this is the best this is so comfortable it feels just like my bed anyway that's baby joe's new comfy bed y'all oh my god i can't wait to go camping in here y'all the background noise is my neighbors across the street so if you hear a lot of noise in the background it's because they're they're doing some things over there just ignore it but um i'm going to do another video with everything in it and i'm going to show you what's under my bed everything that i put in these pockets right here because they're not fully stocked and i have fans and lights and all kind of really really neat convenient simple stuff because i wanted like all of this over here i wanted all of that like just open where i could just sit stuff and i didn't want any clutter and then I have the one on the back of the bed like that. That's easy for me to get to if I'm lying in the bed. Easy access, everything. So, but I wanted this alleyway to be clear. All right. So that's the video I wanted to show y'all. Getting back to baby Joe. That's my comfy bed. And um, I really like this comforter. Um, I thought that I matched the comforter with the sheets well, but you know, stuff looks different online than when you get in person, but we're gonna roll with it. It's not even that serious. I like it. I can always switch it up and I'm gonna get some plushy carpet to go along here. All right, y'all, tell me how you like my new bed. I know I like it because this sucker is so comfortable. Oh my God, I cannot wait to go camping, y'all. I cannot wait. Anyway, there will be more to come with uh, Baby Joe as I put it together. I'm going to keep you guys posted. I'm so excited about this. All right, thank you guys for watching. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments. And tell me what you think about my bed. Because I can't wait to sleep in it. I can't wait to go camping. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. I am sweating bullets. And um, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, whatever it is you want to do. No pressure from me, as I always say. This is your girl, Black Butterfly, signing off. Bye. Don't forget, be kind.